What up, family? What's cracking? I just kind of wanted to share something with you that has stuck with me. I was on a vacation in Colombia, and I was on this excursion. I think I was doing like snorkeling, and I met this guy that lives in Costa Rica. He's originally from Canada, and he was telling us about his decision to make the move to Costa Rica. And what he said in that conversation was, I love my friends that I grew up with, but I didn't choose them. And if I had chose to stay with my friends, I would still be living in that small town in Canada. And it made me realize that we don't choose our friends a lot of the time. A lot of the times, our friends become our friends because we grew up in the same neighborhood. We went to the same school. We spent some time with each other during a specific moment or place in time. And it's not really based on who you are as a person. And sometimes when you go on social media, and you see these groups of friends that are traveling or maybe they're buying property and making these huge moves and you wonder why didn't I have friends that were millionaires you know why didn't I have friends that traveled the world and why aren't all my friends engineers but you know instead it's a mixed bunch. Some are really successful. Some are really funny. Some are really childish. And it's everything in between, right? Some are really lousy. Sometimes who your friends are can hurt you because of the negative association. Some are funny, some are smart, some are successful, some are not so successful. Some might be grimy. The thing is, when you consider them your friends, you choose to accept all those things. And sometimes the griminess rubs off on you. Sometimes the negative thinking rubs off on you. Sometimes a friend will do something terrible. And you'll be associated with that because you consider that person or those people your friend other times you might be really fortunate and have friends that like to travel and do stuff that you like to do and they share the same interests that you like sometimes you can pursue your interests and find your friends that way you know and you know it was just a random thought that I thought about friends and friendship and lastly you have you have to be willing to go alone and do things alone Follow your interests. Find your new friends. All right? It's a rainy day here in New England today. It's actually 4th of July. Go figure. It won't be any fireworks. But I'm curious to know what you think about friendships. Choosing friends versus being blessed with friends. Following your heart. Following your interests. I'm in the comments with you as always. Take care of yourself and me. I'm going to take care of myself and you. Don't take anybody's shit. All right?